Hello and welcome back to another episode of Poke Openings. It's been kind of a long time since I did the last one. Uh, well, I say a long time, about two months. But today I have two things that I bought at a recent comic convention I intended. Uh, so on the left we have the Clara Premium Tournament Collection and on the right we have a Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box. Um, and also I picked up this little dude who featured in the th thumbnail. If anyone remembers, back in the day, Burger King, I think it was the year 2000 maybe, or 2001, they gave away some like plushies uh, with the kids' meals. I uh, got a Venomoth and a few others, but this guy looked so derpy, I had to buy him. Uh, I do love Poliwhirl. It was back in the day where like, it was early Pokemon, so Poliwhirl featured a lot in the advertising, which is strange, because we've never really seen him since. But yeah, we'll put him to the side there. So, I think the Clara um, uh, Tournament Collection came out recently, along with the guy. Uh, they're both from the DLC of Sword and Shield, if you've played that. Uh, but I just went for this, because I prefer Clara to the other guy. And I wanted to open up some more Scarlet and Violet. I did, but I've done it off-screen. So, we've got a ton of packs to get into. So, I'm going to move this to the side. I think we're going to start with the Clara Collection, and then go into... Uh, Scarlet and Violet, because that's the newest set. Uh, yeah, so if you guys remember, a while ago they did do a Marnie tournament collection and a Professor Juniper, I want to say, as well. Uh, I didn't buy the Juniper one. Not anything, you know, against her or anything, but I just wasn't all that interested. But I do quite like Clara. I, I liked her in the game. So. This comes with quite a few things as well, so I'll pull them out one by one. We've got the Clara um, sleeves, which are very nice. Uh, her and Galarian Slowking. Man, I love Galarian Slowking. He's so cool. So like weird Cyclops Dracula dude. Uh, let's see. We've also got... Aha, we've got some cards. We'll take a look at those in a second. We have the deck box. Uh, another thing I really love these collections for. Uh, so I believe that opens this way, and inside, yeah, oh, oh no, it folds that way, oh nice, we've got a sort of zoom in on Clara's sort of Yandere uh, face there. We have seven packs, I do believe it is seven, silver, are they all silver Tempest? Okay, no, oh, we've got a nice mix of silver, Astral Radiance, ooh, and some brilliant stars, and a Fusion Strike, okay, very cool. Put those to the side. Obviously, we'll be opening those up in a second. Uh, oh, aha. and we've got. Oh, ooh, this comes in a um, kind of protection thing. So these are damage counters. I think that's like poison and burn, obviously, because that's how it looks. Those are really cool, actually. Um, I'm gonna keep them in here for now, but they're like plastic damage counters. I always appreciate when they do stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna pop this back in. There we go, so that is the closed... Oh, nice! We've got a zoom-up of uh, Galarian Slow King as well. Very cool. I think we've got one or two other things in here, and that is the uh, dice. Ooh! Ooh, I really like that. Very, um, very Eva 01 from Evangelion uh, kind of colour scheme. Yeah, very nice. I mean, that's her colour scheme as well. It's purple and green. That is... Those are very nice. I think... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought there was something else. We do have an oversized coin as well of Clara. That is very nice. Uh, very pretty. Right, I'm going to go put everything back now, and then we'll get into opening the pack, so BRB. All right, there we go. So, <laughs> I, I forgot about these as well. So, we'll take a look at the promo cards as well. So, I believe, much like the Marnie one, we get a cool full art, and we get three of the same supporter cards, I think. Uh, so, this is Clara's full art card. Very nice. That is... Uh, I always appreciate a promo that is full, full art and stuff. So you don't always get it. Uh, and then we've also got the supporter, which... I want to say this might be a hollow version of a card that's already appeared in another set, I think. I could be wrong though, uh, let me know in the comments if I am, and I think there's, yeah, there's there's three of those. And there's a code card behind, which I'm going to be keeping myself. Very nice. Right, I'll put her to the side there. 
and we'll get into some packs. So we'll start with Fusion Strike. I think it goes in that order of release. Um, Fusion Strike's a pretty cool set. I do like it. Um, it's definitely one I haven't opened much of. So there's still a lot of potential for me to pull stuff I've either never seen before or, uh, you know, pretty cool sort of secret rare potentially. I'm not going to pull them, but you never know. And there's still four to the front, so Scarlet and Violet actually mix that up. We'll get onto that. I'm going to say electric. It is fire. Right, okay. Let's begin with Lapras. We've got Schoolboy. Chili, Silan, and Cress from uh, Black and White. Very cool. We've got a uh, Darumaka. We've got Sizzlepeed. Ah, oh, that's an adorable stuffle. I genuinely can't remember if I've seen this art or not because there's like 300 cards in this set. We've got a Sandy Gast. Ooh, a Plusle, a Rapid Strike Plusle. Very cool. Our reverse is a Drillber. He, he seems pretty happy. And, ooh, hey, there we go. We got a Hollow Landorus. That's a pretty darn good start, actually. Given how many cards are in this set, I think... I don't know if actually pulling a Hollow is... A higher chance or a lower chance? Because uh, there's probably a lot of non-hollow rares as well, aren't there? Uh, right. Very nice. That was a good start. A solid start, and I don't think I have that card. Next on to Brilliant Stars. So, looking forward to the rest of these because they have Trainer Gallery um, cards in the reverse hollow slot. And I reckon out of six packs, there's a, there's a decent chance of me pulling something pretty cool. I think, maybe. I could be wrong. Let's put four to the front. I'm going to say fighting energy. Oh, hey, let's go. Even better. That means I'm going to pull something cool. We've got a Dusclops. A Morgren. Very nice. Hey, some haunted... Sorry, hunting gloves, not haunting gloves. Although that is a haunting guy, that's spirit him. We've got a Burmy. Hey, Impidimp. Nice. I wouldn't mind getting a... can't remember what Morgrim evolves into now. What's his name? I uh, can't remember. We've got a Staryu. A Riolu. Right, next could be... No, it is a Reverse. But it is a Reverse Flygon. I'll take that. Flygon's pretty cool. And... Ooh, okay. Well, we have an Escavalier non-holo rare. Um, hey, every pack isn't a winner, you know? And we've got Several more to go through, including an Elite Trainer box, so I'm trying not to take up too much of your time because uh, this does go on a while. We've got Astral Radiance next, uh, the Legends Arceus set. I think it's been a while since I've opened these, but I can't remember. Fusion Strike, it's definitely been a while. I think last summer, I think I managed to find a triple pack of them randomly, and I did a video on. But apart from that, I'm going to say Fire Energy. Oh, Grass, the complete opposite. Hey, you got a Togetic. Very cute. Oh, we've got a Spicy Seasoned Curry. Hey, Curlier. Hey, that's that's cute. We've got a Fluffy Growlithe, Hisoyan Growlithe. Got a Rufflet. Oh, a Hisoyan Quillfish. A Rowlet. Oh, that, that's picking up Rowlet's face as a face. That's weird. Oh, we, wait, are there two different... Hang on, wait, are there two different cool fish? No, there are. I don't know, maybe I maybe I knew that and just forgot it, but oh, okay. Okay, our reverse is a Regigigas. Very cool. I, I quite I quite like Regigigas, not in terms of his usability in the games, because he's kind of terrible, but I like his design. Yeah. Oh, let's go! Oh, yeah. We've got a Lucario V. Very nice. I don't think I have this. That's very cool. Uh, definitely takes me back to like EX era. Uh, you know, he's got that kind of CGI look to him. There we are. Well, we've pulled a V and got a hollow so far. That's uh, that's pretty that's pretty good so far, I think, in terms of rates. Let's see if this other Astral Radiance can give us something cool too. We are... Uh, I think we're, well, we're basically exactly halfway through the tournament pack now. Honestly, I really like these tournament packs. I, um, I've always been a fan of like the trainers in Pokemon and stuff, because they're so unique. And it's nice they're finally giving them sort of things for fans of the characters, and you know, as opposed to just cards. Right, so, 
Well, oh, hey, we've got an overquill. Let's go to go with the two quill fish we pulled earlier. We've got a uh, Kamado, the guy in charge of the village. We've got a Noctowl, very cool. We've got a Pseudo Wudo, uh, who chills outside the village, if I remember correctly, from that game. Hey, Combi. We've got Drifloon. <laughs> ah, a very, uh, very kind of stoic side up there. Got a Togepi, I think next might be... So we've got a Heracross Reverse. Very cool, that is an epic Heracross piece of art. Um, okay, we got a we got a Shaman. Not bad, that's not, I don't think I have that Shaman, so that's kind of cool. Very in keeping with the um, Diamond and Pearl theme of the game. Uh, was was Shaman in Legends Arceus? I don't think it was, was it? I mean, not that it technically has to be. Um, I think uh, those of you with eagle eyes will have noticed probably a few Pokemon the features in this set that didn't feature in Legends Arceus. We've got Silver Tempest up next. Um, trying to think of what I've pulled from Silver Tempest. I, I definitely have opened quite a few packs, but I don't know if I've pulled anything like super cool from here. So today could be the day. This could be the time. I'm going to say Steel Energy for this. Let's see. No, water. All right. Let's begin with... Yay! Beehive! Dude, I love... I love the aliens from Gen 5. Oh! And Sigilyph! Another one I really like from Gen 5. Man, if we can pull a, um... Uh, Cofagragus, I'd be over the moon. Got a Golbat. A Rufflet. A Vulpix, kind of looking sassy. A Drowsy, just completely out of it there. Hey, very cute Growlithe. Got a Mischievous. I think next could be... Okay, it's a reverse. It is Lily... Uh, Petter Lil, not Lily. I always get their names confused. I guess they got Lil... Lil Lily, you know, in them. And we have a Talon Flame, which I think I'm pretty sure I've pulled this at least, like, twice. Uh, I mean, hey, Talon Flame was, was pretty big and competitive, if I remember correctly, because there is massive attack and speed stats and stuff. Uh, right, we've got two two uh, packs left. Still loads of time to pull something super cool. Uh, I'd like maybe a V or a V. I'd like a V Max, maybe, I guess. Stepping it up now, because I've pulled a Hollow. I've pulled a V. So I think the next step now is either a V Max or a Trainer Gallery. That would be pretty cool. we got a st oh, Steel was what I predicted last time. we got Altaria. Oh, I don't think I've seen that Altaria before. Okay, we've got a Fletchinder, to go with that Talon Flame we pulled. We've got Draco, Dra Dra Dracloak. We've got a Wilma. A Murkrow. A Emolga. Meditite, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, we've got Durant. Next up could be something, but it is a Toracat. I don't think I've seen Toracat in this set. That's cool. I mean, I'd be up for... Uh, pulling a... okay, well, instead it is a non-hollow rare Alma Almaldo. Well, hey, this is all in service to the last hype pack we're about to pull, which is going to bring the real uh, heat heat to the to this video, for show, uh, and other, other, like, modern phrases. Right, let's... ooh, ooh, I just ripped the front of this. Okay, well, this pack is decimated then. We got Reggie Lecky at the front. I'd like to pull a. Actually, no. I say a lie. I do have a Reggie Lecky because I bought the Reggie Lecky uh, collection box. Oh, and the Reggie Drago. That's what the last book openings was on, wasn't it? Haha, -ha, See, my memories are coming back to me. Right. Let's begin this final pack with a meow stick. Very cool. We got Jim Trainer. A Curlia. A Wilma. A Mucro again, a lot of doubles now. Emolga. Uh, Meditite. Wow, yeah, this is very much the same of the last two packs, maybe. A Durant. A Reverse Glalie. Can we end on something incredible? Uh, I mean, it depends if you're a big fan of Mistrevers uh, Miss Magius, I guess. It's, it's a non-hollow Miss Magius. But hey, we did pull a V and a hollow from this collection. And honestly, 
The packs are just kind of a bonus. I love the deck box and everything and the uh, Clara promo card. Right, I'm going to go um, tidy everything up now and we'll get on to the Elite Trainer Box. So BRB. Alright, we are back with the Elite Trainer Box of Scarlet and Violet. So, um, as with a lot of sets, they did have like dual, uh, dual boxes for... Hang on, BRB. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yes, yeah, so they are dual designs for Scarlet and Violet. Obviously, one of them is Scarlet and one of them is Violet. Uh, so I went for the Violet one because that's the game I played. And also, I prefer Miraidon to Kuraidon. Um, yeah, so let's slide this out. Now, I have opened a few Scarlet and Violet packs uh, off camera. Uh, I did manage to get a secret rare full art Arvin, uh, actually, which is pretty cool. So we've got a little booklet that comes with everything. I'm not going to flip through too much. Uh, we do have some art within, which reveals this. Yet again, it is too large for my camera to get all in one. So we've got Huraidon, Miraidon. We've got the boys, or the girls. Uh, there is a 25% chance they're girls, I guess. And we've got Garados as well. Cool. I mean, he is Terra, I guess, so he's sort of Terra Garados. But yeah, very nice. I'm going to put that off to the side, and we'll get into the box. So, man, I, I love... Uh, Elite Trainer boxes have the coolest sort of gold embossed designs. Uh, oh, okay. So some ETBs have, like, one side of the Pokémon, and the other side is, like, a zoomed-in thing with their face, but that is not the case for this one. So, these have gone up a little bit in price, but... In exchange for that, you do get something a little bit extra, so that's the kind of background image. Kind of kind of cool. I don't tend to keep these. Um, I used to, because my idea was like, oh, they'll make great backdrops, but I just never use them. So we've... Oh, okay. Ah. I think... Actually, no. Right, so these are Poison and Burn counters, much like the one we got in the Clara collection. I thought these were exclusive to Clara, maybe, but... These make more sense, I guess they're new. I guess the Championship Collection came out after this then, maybe, or something. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, nice, straightforward, and to the point. We've got the dice. Uh, oh, okay, I was, I, I'll was. i be honest, I was kind of expecting them to be purple and maybe like white or something. Uh, I kind of like the sort of tie-dyed look of them, though. I mean, I guess the... That one's kind of cool. It's got the set EX. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So EXs are back in this set. There's uh, there's been some changes. Uh, so these are the dividers. Got Maridon. Oh, that's cool. And it's a gold. And the other. Ooh, that's very nice. Good lord. Okay, cool. And it's the same for all of the dividers. Very cool. Uh, I believe we get loads of energies. Um, and something you've probably noticed is the borders have changed, so in this set onwards everything's the same as the Japanese with the borders and there's interesting stuff with the card packs, which I'll explain in a second. You're probably already aware of it anyway. That's the code card. Ooh! Ooh, okay. These, uh, these sleeves are gold inside. That's cool. So <laughs> I'm adding that to the Pokemon card sleeve pile. Uh, we've got... Yeah, we've got eight packs. Or is it nine? I can't remember. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is interesting. I mean, the price has gone up a bit. I don't know why they just didn't just give ten, to be honest. Nine is a bit of a weird number. But then we got seven in that, so it's perfectly up to uh, 16 now. And the last thing, another reason it's gone up, is you get a promo. And goddamn, that is one hell of a promo. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic because you can see it just fine, I'm sure. But that is incredible. Um, another reason I chose this over the um, Scarlet one. The Scarlet one looks really cool too, but like this is just... If this was a secret rare in a set, I think this might, you know, have become like one of the chase ones like the Evolving Skies Embryon. That is just beautiful. Uh, right, I'm going to go clear everything up again, and then we'll crack into these nine packs. BRB. Alright, I've tidied the background up a bit as well. I, I realise I didn't have the Clara promo uh, popped up there. So, I think everything looks pretty cool. So, we've got two of each pack and one extra of the Miraidon, which is appropriate, I guess. I don't know if 
The Curidon themed ETB has maybe one extra of that pack design. I don't know if they'd go that far, but hey, you never know. So, as I mentioned, there's been some changes. You're probably aware anyway, but just in case you're kind of out of the loop of Pokemon cards. Um, so, first off, the card trick is one card from the back. Everything is ordered now, which is cool. And we've got an energy that is green, uh, grass, sorry. And as you can tell, the borders are silver. So, the cool thing about these packs is uh, they're ordered, but also you have three shiny section or parts of the pack. You're guaranteed at least like two hollows and a reverse, I think. And obviously one of those hollows can be a rarer thing as well. So we, you'll, you'll see as we go through. So we've got a Magnemite. I don't think I've pulled a Magnemite from this set before. That is really cool. I've only opened like five packs, I think. Um, but you know, so far I'm really digging the new changes. Hey, Tarantula. I, I love this guy. Um, oh, Pokemon Catcher, making a comeback, that's cool. Got a clone ship, oh man. The art is really nice in this as well. Sandaconda. It's obviously hit and miss because there's different artists doing different cards, but still. Hey, we've got Katie. Uh, I don't I, was she a gym leader? The bug one, maybe? I can't remember. We've got a Star Raptor. Okay, so, uh, so this is the reverse, and that is a Magnemite. Look at the little circle thing here. Uh, I don't think I've picked up on this before. I wonder if it's a circle with the elemental symbol for each one. We'll see, I guess. So there we are. That's a shiny version of the boy we pulled just <gasps> now. Let's go. We've got a Pomo. Uh, Pomo. Pomo. Because uh, the other one's Pomo, isn't it? That. Whoa. That is very nice. And that is a secret rare. That is actually a secret rare. Good lord. I've actually pulled two secret rares now, because I pulled the um, full art secret rare Alvin as well off, off camera, sadly. That is wild. Also, if you'll notice as well, they've got rid of the set symbols now, and it's just the set, like, numbers and stuff. Some people hate it. I know I kind of like it, because I'll be honest, when I'm sorting Pokemon cards, it's hard to tell sometimes to be like, is it the circle with the two arrows up, or the circle with the three arrows up, or is it the one with the two arrows, but there's the like little squiggle thing on top, and yeah. Wow, that was... I'm going to go sleeve him in a second then. Uh, also, a Pokemon I ran a lot on my team. And also, we have a hollow uh, river room. Very cool. So even hollows have the cool, like, hollow uh, border and stuff as well. So yeah, very nice. And you are guaranteed at least a hollow in each pack. I'm going to go sleeve Paul Morton. I'll be right back. There we go. And that nice gold background kind of suits it as well, because he's an electric type. Uh, you know what? I'm also going to put him there. I think any, like, full arts or whatever that are of particular rarity are definitely worth being put there. That is... I was not expecting to get that good a pull in the first pack. I mean, I think the rest are <laughs> maybe not going to be quite as hype now, but let's see. Let's start from the left. So we've got the starters. Uh, yeah, I am I'm personally really digging all the designs. I have always really enjoyed the Japanese borders. The yellow borders are nice as well, and I will miss them for sure, but... I don't know, it, it, it just kind of looks a bit cleaner, if that makes sense, so I don't know, maybe like everything's a bit more uniform, I guess. So we've got a fire energy, very nice. Let's get on to this pack. It's also nice not ha having to shuffle everything. Hey, a Grieveyard, another uh, Pokemon I ran in my playthrough. A Maskiff, uh, I never really bothered with the dogs, but they, they're pretty cool. Got a Spooper. Ooh, a Meditite. There we are. Well, that, that's the second time we've seen a Meditite now. Oh, and a Medicham. Man, what are the chances? That was really cool. Uh, we have a Quaxwell, uh, which is the second evolution of the Water Duck. Ooh, we've got an EXP... Oh, I thought this is reverse for a second, but I was like, wow, that's really subtle. EXP share. Definitely that was like a black and white era art. I think they've kind of updated slightly. Our reverse uh, is a Squawkabilly. Ah, okay, yeah. So they do the circle thing with the element. That's really cool. Uh, it's only a little thing, but yeah. Squawkabilly, I, I kind of like all their different colours. This has been crazy 
Wow, so we've got a gold rare, rare candy. Uh, and this is yet again another secret rare. <laughs> wow, I have pulled two secret rares back to back. I, wow. That, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sleeve this in a second as well. <laughs> Let's see what's behind it. We have a Indeedy. Very cute. Very just chilling. I, I'd appreciate this a lot more if I hadn't just pulled like my second back-to-back -back secret rare. Right, I'm going to go sleeve that BRB. All right, a card even more deserving of the uh, gold background of the sleeve. I'm actually running out of room to put these. Now I'm going to put that there. Wow, that. I can't believe it. And you know, uh, a fun thing actually, at the convention yesterday, so I went to buy uh, the Elite Trainer box, took it to pay, uh, and their card machine wasn't working. It either didn't have signal or it was acting up. So I was like, oh, can you hold on to it? I'll, I'll try again later. Maybe your machine, you know, is sort of getting problems. Uh, came back later, still wasn't working. So I had a third attempt, I bought it because I had to physically go take out some money. And good lord, it was worth it. We've got a Psychic Energy. It's very nice. Let's get into it. So, we've got a Drifloon. Very cute. Honestly, I don't even care what I get for the rest of the, um, for the rest of the packs now. That is... I can't get over that. That is wild. There's probably a ton of Secret Rares in this set, but I mean, that's still... Odds-wise, that's pretty cool. We've got a Set Hoddle. Very cute. Uh, a Varun. The first Poison Steel type, I believe. Ooh, that's a really cool Magikarp, actually. I really like that. It, it's weird. With Magikarp, the art's really either really incredibly derpy or sort of pretty pretty cool. We've got a Bombardier. Bombardier. You know what I mean. We've got a Hypno. A Beach Court. That's cool. That was the water gym, right? No, maybe? I can't remember. Uh, our, ooh, hey, a reverse slowpork. Another, man, the, the water ones, they've really amped it up with like the water effects and everything because the ripples and stuff look beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think reverses look a lot better with the silver borders as well. Oh, rare. Okay, fine. I guess it's a hollow cacnea. Why is cacnea a rare? It's a reverse, isn't it? It's a reverse. It's not a rare, obviously, because it's the same. I'm an idiot. Sorry, so I think you can get two reverses or two hollows or, you know, step-ups as well. I guess maybe this is the spot we'll get the, like, super, super hype one. Then the next one is your guaranteed hollow, maybe? And it is Dodonzo, the, uh, the sort of sushi chef uh, fish dude who hangs out with Tatsugiri, right? And which look like sushi. It's it's strange, I guess, but hey. Uh, right, well, that that wasn't quite as hype as the first two, but I don't think anything ever will be. Uh, I would really like to pull an EX, actually. I still don't think I pulled an EX, because they've brought those back now since, like... Uh, I, it was the end of... X and Y, right? Because then Sun and Moon introduced GX and then we went into V. Uh, so our element is... Uh, element? Energy? Steel? Sorry, I'm still kind of all over the place. I can't believe I've pulled this many good cards. So, let's begin with Floet. Hey, we've got a poor me to go with uh, the incredibly hype uh, third stage. Hey, Smoliv! I love Smoliv. Very cute. Oh, yes! Wiglet. I'd love a reverse Wiglet. And I don't know if Wug Trio is a hollow, but I hope he is. Oh, if there's a secret rare Wug Trio, that'd be amazing. Hey, Zangoose. That's really cute. I like Zangoose. Nothing's ever been done with this Pokemon. He's never got a Mega. He's never got, like, an alternative form. But I, I think he's cool. We've got a Stojona. Hey, there we are. Um, somebody's favourite Pokemon, I'm sure. Hey, Penny! with the hard-as-hell dubstep track uh, for the battle. I won't go into any more details in case it's a spoiler. We've got Team Star Grunt. That's cool. Uh, oh, I, I quite like um, some of the Team Star uh, like leaders. Uh, Mira would be pretty cool, the fire one. Hey, we've got a reverse Quaxley. I think that's the first 
of the three starters have actually got in card form, so that's cool. Very cute Quaxley there. Uh, I didn't, I didn't choose him, but that's because I went with. Um, why am I blanking on the fire Crocs name? Let's go. We got Steel Treads EX. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Look at that glitter. Hang on. There we go. Ah, oh, it's got like the Japanese kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't really know if they use it in Pokemon, but in Cardfight Vanguard and stuff, you'll get this like glittery sheen going on. Ah, oh, man. That is really nice. That is not a secret rare. Wait, hang on. This might be a super rare, because it's got the two stars there. Uh, I don't know if EX is regularly two stars or whatever, but that is nice. And as you can see, EX. So this version of EX, which is the lowercase EX, is actually kind of the older version, because I'm pretty sure Black and White Onwards used EX, but as capitals. So, I mean, this is going back to, like, you know, third and fourth gen in the cards, really. There we go. I've pulled in the X. I'm really happy now. Um, I guess I'd like some Team Flare, Team Flare, Team Star um, boxes, maybe, in card form. But I don't know. I don't even know if they're in this set. I don't know how... I mean, this set's easily got 250 cards, because I'm pretty sure the Rare Candy's 249. So, uh, you know. This is a fight. Nope. It's a grass energy, I was going to say fighting, and be all smug, but I was wrong. We've got a scatterbug. Oh, a shup. That almost looks like shiny shuppet. Like, the way he's lit up and stuff. I swear shiny shuppet's blue, right? I can't remember. Hey, we got Sprigatito! I'm really liking the kind of extra thick borders of these ones. Um... Just, it kind of like makes it a universal style, you know, which I always appreciate. We've got a Houndour, or Hound, Houndour, Houndour. Uh, we've got a Nest Ball, very cool. Oh, Pachirisu absolutely going for it there, good lord. Man, he, he is like, he's going Super Saiyan, that's impressive. Got a picnic basket. We uh, everyone enjoyed the picnics. We've got a Paul Moore. Not to be confused with Paul Moore. Is the T silent? Because it's written in a way that would suggest it was. But Paul Moore and Paul Moore uh, sound very confusing. There we are. We got the whole Paul Me line now. We've got a reverse Pinecore. Was Pinecore even in the game? I can't remember. Very cool art though. I love the uh, the nighttime aesthetic. And we have a Skeledurge uh, Hollow. I love Skeledurge. It's genuinely, I think, the coolest of the three um, final evils of the starters. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, he is really cool. Torch Song is a crazy move because it just boosts special attack. That's got the one star for a Hollow. If we pull an EX, I'm going to check because. Part of me thinks Iron Treads is a regular EX, as in not a super rare, but it's hard to tell. Some of these sets will have like 40 super rares before we even get to secret rares, and other ones will have like 10. So it's really hard to tell with just set number where they are. Okay, this is our final um, Scarlet and Violet Starters designed pack. I mean, so far, I've definitely got value for money. I think. I, I have 100% probably made back the value of this box in my two pulls. Say fighting. Oh, it is. Let's go. Cool. Right. Let's begin with Staravia. I don't know why I just don't just pull the energy to the front and then flip it. That that would be easier, wouldn't it? Uh, hey, we got Ralt just chilling in one of the cities. That's cool. We've got... Oh, Tandem House. Let's go. <gasps> I just thought the Dunsparce is going to be in this set, probably, isn't it? Uh, are they going to be the two and three segment uh, versions? We've got Poker Gear 3.0. We've got a Blissey. Very cute. We've got a uh, Jacques. Jacques. He's one of the teachers. Uh, is he... He's not language, is he? I can't, uh, I, I can't remember what he is now. It's been a while since I've played uh, Skull and Violet. I need to go back. I haven't fully, fully finished it. We've got a Floragato. Very nice. I wouldn't mind his final evil. Um, that would be a cool hollow to pull. 
we got a flabibi yay I, are people into flabibi it's it's like it's it's really not the coolest pokemon but hey i think this is the second reverse hollow sprigatito we've pulled but hey not complaining and hey there we go we got professor's research so we've got the um uh violet professor uh cuz the scarlet one is the woman uh i was about to say something else about these professors but that is a spoiler for the end of the game so not going to say that although i guess me mentioning that it's a spoiler is sort of a spoiler in itself because now it means that people who are unaware that something happens does happen or something is revealed or I'll stop talking now because I'm just gonna I'm digging myself a worse spoiler hole. Uh, right, last Gyarados pack. It's weird they went with Gyarados as the pack designer, not Charizard, because usually when they're sort of like when they don't have another Pokemon to put, they'll just stick him on because he sells well. Let's say electric. No, it's water. All right then. Let's begin with a silly cobra. <laughs> what a silly cobra. We've got a bishop who. Ooh, King's Gambit would be cool as well. We've got a real. Oh no, I was going to say we pulled him before, but we haven't. Hey, go goat. Let's go. Uh, shout out to Dan if you're watching. Yeah, go goat. He got very excited once when we pulled a go goat. For no reason. It wasn't a rare or anything, but hey. He got a Drift Blim. A Defense Band. Very cool. Uh, oh, there we are. Tatsugiri. I wonder if they have more than one version. Because there's, I want to say four, right? Or is it three Tatsugiris? They each have different stat um, boosts. I think that's the attack one, maybe. Uh, well, first, reverse is a Flamigo. Which is, it's it's a Flamingo. No, it's, 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 it's an anime Flamingo. <laughs> I mean, they're still kind of cool. I think they are pretty, like, powerful, aren't they, I think, in the game. Ah, oh, let's go. We got a Fido. I really want, um... Oh, I can never remember what Fido evolves into, but it it basically is the Pokemon representation of the VTuber Corone. Uh, but, yeah, Bread Dogs. Bread Dog is such a good idea. Like, I'm glad they did that. Hello, then. Wow, a Gyarados EX! Holy crap, that is uh, another secret rare. That is the s third secret rare I have pulled in one Elite Trainer Box. This is genuinely baffling. Um, wow, also I thought the final card in the pack was your hollow, was like your guaranteed hollow, but I was wrong, I guess they can be in either slot. That's beautiful. That is... Uh, wow, right, okay, I'm going to go sleeve this as well. BRB. All right, my background now has more pulled secret rares than it does, like, really pretty promos that came with the things. That is... I'm, I'm genuinely at a loss for words here. This is... Are the pull rates really that crazy for Scarlet and Violet? Because, as, as I said, I've opened... I bought two singles from a card shop, and I bought a triple pack from a card shop. And I mean, I did get the Alvin Secret Rare, um, I guess, from the triple pack. So maybe the pull rates are just, like, insane, but that is... I genuinely can't get over this. Uh, right, we've got Grass Engine, we've got two packs left to go. Um, hey, we've got Nimona, your rival. Uh, who always wants to battle, no matter of the si no matter the situation. Hey, we've got a Lechonk! Oh, he looks <laughs> very sad at that puddle. Are you okay, Lechonk? Got Flabebe again. Okay, cool. We've got a Growlithe, uh, chilling by some fans. Hey, it's a Titan. There we go. I did use him briefly to take on, I think he's like the dragon, um, the dragon like leader in Skull and Violet. Hey we got Flaffy just chilling out. That is really cute. I like that Flaffy. We've got a youngster. Uh did we pull that earlier? I can't remember. I'm not hitting a ton of dupes so far either. That's kinda cool. Got a rock chest plate. Very cool. A a chest plate made from entirely rock. Imagine that's nice and light to carry around. Uh, we've got a Drozy chilling in the desert, and again, absolutely out of his gourd. He is he is gone. 
Uh, and our uh, last is a armor, armor rouge. That is very cool. Um, there's the psychic one as well, isn't that the one the char cadet evolves into? I'd like, I'd like the psychic one as well. The sort of edgier one. This is more the kind of shonen protag power up form one. Right, and we've got one final pack, and that is Miraidon. Um, I like genuinely at a loss for what it is I'd even like from these packs anymore. I'm, I'm so used to sort of. I will sometimes pull a secret rare in, you know, an elite trainer box, and that that just like that that's made my day. That sort of filled up my dopamine uh, things from Pokemon for a while. But I'm I'm at a loss for words. We got a Psychic Energy, a Quaxly. Oh, Squawvert's back, is it? Okay. Well, let's see. Shout out to all you Scorvet fans out there. We got a Charcadet! There we go. He's cool. Uh, we've got a Lechonk. Oh, we got a second Lechonk. He's looking happier. He's not sad at the puddle. That's cool. We've got a Flogus. Very cool. A Muck. Not a Pokemon I expected to be in this set, but okay. Hey, we've got a Vivian. That's cool. Now, do they do the cool thing where, like, maybe in Japanese its design is different? I don't know. We've got a uh, Floragato, which I want to say now we're just missing the last Evo, and then we've got everything in, like, shiny hollow form. We, oh, we, we got a dupe Magnemite Reverse Hollow as well. That's cool. And our last card, hey, is a Arboliva. Ar 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 Arboliva. I think that's the first time I've ever said that out loud. Uh, that is what um, the Smoliv evolves into eventually. Yeah, I, I really like her design. It's very cool. It's uh, I'm always I always appreciate a grass waifu, of which there are like five now. I want to say, right, BRB. I'm going to clean everything up, and we'll do one last um, like hurrah. All right. Well, um, that I I'm I'm still. I'm still like I, I'm. I'm so confused that I've pulled three secret rares in one elite trainer box. That is, like, I I can't even think of anywhere I've had even close to this luck. I'm guessing the packs are like really well seeded or something, or you're like more likely to pull them. I guess I don't. I I don't imagine this is sort of like a statistical anomaly. I don't think I've hit the jackpot here. But wow. Um, I, I don't I don't know how to wrap this up. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been amazing. I'm probably going to be buying some more Scarlet and Violet packs, I think, because uh, you know that is I, I've I've had a nice I've had a nice like combo as well because I've had a gold rare and I've had two really pretty full art secret rares. Um, I I don't imagine any of these are like super valuable or anything. I mean Gyarados, maybe I could see that going for a little bit more. But I I am thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. Uh, this has been amazing. Right, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be opening some more Pokemon cards in the future, for sure. Absolutely. If, if it's anything as good as this, I'll probably be doing it quite soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll leave a playlist to my previous Poke openings. I'll leave YouTube choose something as well at the bottom. Uh, right, and until next time, goodbye.